friends, it's Julie. Welcome back to Rowan Co. Farms. Um, it's time for a little bit of an update again on my cancer journey. Um, so if you're new here, guys, I found out I had breast cancer back in early December of 2022, and I'm just getting started on the process of cancer treatment. back at Emory today. It is my medical oncology appointment. So hopefully today I'll get my chemo schedule, you know, what kind of chemo medicines I'm going to get, you know, how many treatments, the, that whole, hopefully that whole regimen will be discussed today. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted as soon as I know more. Ooh, all of hell, every time. <laughs> Um, so I have today I found out that my cancer is stage 2b um, we originally thought it was a stage 3 but today the medical oncologist said that I am at stage 2b which is great because it's not as bad as we originally thought or it's not as as far along as we originally thought so that's really good again that could change again once I have surgery and you know they take out you know different things and they you know do pathology reports but as of right now stage 2b uh, lobular breast cancer um, in the right breast so I'm gonna be having chemotherapy um, I will start my chemotherapy treatments on February the 20th of 2023 uh, today is February the 6th, so I have about two weeks. Um, I'm going to be having a port placed somewhere, one of two sides. Um, sometime in the next two weeks, they're going to call me to schedule that. Uh, probably tomorrow they'll schedule that. And I have to have an echocardiogram, which is where they check your heart out um, to make sure that it's healthy enough for chemo because uh, one of the kinds of chemo I'm getting is very stressful on your heart. Uh, so they just have to check you out and make sure that you can handle the treatment. Um, they say that usually it's fine if you don't have any previous, you know, history of heart problems and usually you don't have any problems. So and I don't have any previous cardiac history, so we should be okay there. It's just a formality to have that test done. Um, okay, so here's the treatment schedule for... Um, my chemo. So I will start with four rounds of AC. Um, AC is a combination of two medications. One is, oh, I should have brought my paper over here. Let me go get it. I'll come right back. Okay, I got my paper. Okay, so the first medication that I'm going to be getting is called AC. It's also sometimes known as the Red Devil, um, but it is a combination of two drugs. One is called cyclophosphamide, and the other one is doxorubicin. Um, so I will have four rounds of that combination of drugs. Um, so I'll get, I'll get them infused, and then I'll wait two weeks, and then I'll get it infused again, wait two weeks, get it infused again, wait two weeks get it infused again. So I'll have four treatments of that, followed by 12 rounds of Taxol. Um, it's also called Paclitaxel is the technical, you know, name for it. Um, so I will have 12 doses of that, um, and I'll get one each week for 12 consecutive weeks. Um, once those treatments are done, then after that, then I will move on to having uh, my mastectomy surgery. So that will be probably sometime over the summer, like late summer in August sometime. Um, this course of treatment with just the chemo is going to take five months to finish. Um, so that's it's a pretty extensive time frame. Um, so I'm just going to have to kind of roll through with it and, you know, deal with it. Um, I mean, 
I'm definitely not looking forward to it. It's, it's going to be pretty severe. Um, I will lose my hair, um, starting with the first, first round of chemos, um, probably within two or three chemos treatments. Um, I'll probably, um, have lost all of my hair at that point. So yeah, I'm, I'm not looking forward to that. I haven't decided if I like I'm gonna buy a wig or if I'm just gonna go bald or how I'm gonna do it. Probably a combination of the two. <sighs> I don't even want to go there yet, guys. Okay, let's just be for real. I I don't even like to think about that. So I will cross that bridge in another month or so when we get there. But I say I got about a month or so with my hair still <laughs> intact, maybe maybe six weeks, but that's probably about it. Um, yeah, I mean, there's some pretty significant side effects. They're the ones that you kind of hear about that you all are familiar with probably, you know, nausea, vomiting, poor appetite, you can kind of have a change in the way things taste. You can have neuropathy, so you lose finger, uh, sorry, you lose feeling in your fingertips and your toes um but that's not always doesn't always happen and there are some ways to prevent some of those things um so so yeah i'm going to be trying some of that out so the idea with there's some treatments you can do while you're getting chemo like these little cold mittens and cold little booties you put on your feet um, because the idea is if you keep those extremities really cold, that the chemo won't go into those cells as quickly and it lessens the effect on your fingers and toes. Uh, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get some of those to wear during my treatments so that will you know limit some of those side effects. But ultimately, I mean, it's just gonna be kind of suffer through it. Hopefully, you know, I'll get through it okay. Um, I'm still going to be doing my, my keto diet, um, obviously following, you know, the advice of multiple practitioners while doing that. And hopefully that will keep me healthy enough during chemo treatments. Um, it, it should help me uh, prepare my body, which I've been doing for the last eight or nine weeks already, just getting ready for chemo. And it will continue to help protect my good cells while hopefully isolating and, and, maybe damaging some of my cancer cells in the process, at least weakening them to some degree so that when chemo comes in, it will be more effective. So yeah, that's that's the idea with, with the keto diet and cancer. Um, I'm not gonna delve too deep into what all that means. I did a video about it and you know I'll leave a link to that. There's a whole playlist of all the stuff with my cancer treatment so far. But yeah, so I'm gonna continue with my keto. I'll be doing some fasting Kind of leading into some of my chemo treatments just to you know get my body set up and ready and uh yeah hopefully that will provide some protective mechanisms for me so yeah guys stay tuned um obviously you know when i go have my port put in um i think that'll be sometime next week i'll bring you guys along for that and show you how that goes um they'll put it'll just be right under the skin right here they said it's an it's an outpatient thing they just they do a local anesthetic they don't put you to sleep or anything local anesthetic and they go ahead and like surgically kind of put that under the skin and you know that's that's that so hopefully that'll be a pretty easy procedure um again that'll be next week and we're just going to kind of go from there okay guys so the last thing i wanted to talk to you about is something that's a little bit hard for me to discuss or even ask because it's not something that i would normally ever do and that is asking for help from you guys. I really went back and forth about whether or not I would put this out there, but so many of you, I mean, so many of you guys have reached out to me. It's been amazing. I get messages constantly, lots of comments. People are constantly asking how I'm doing. Am I okay? What do I need? And I went on Amazon and I made a wish list of some small items that will, they're not make or break, but they're definitely some items that I think will bring me some comfort and help me through some of the processes that I'm gonna be going through this year. Some are to help with chemo, some are to help with radiation, some are to help with surgical recovery. And so, like I said, I put a link down below. It's an Amazon wish list. 
you go on there, you click on the stuff, it'll send it directly to me. There's small things like ice packs and cushions to help pad you for surgery. There's, there's small items like head wraps and some different lotions and things to help with radiation burns. There's some books um, and some just different things like that, some different pillows and things to help with comfort. So I'm putting that out there. If any of you feel so inclined that you want to, you know, help out in that way, I would be forever grateful. Thank you so much. And if you don't, obviously no obligation. There is no requirement to do that. I just, I just wanted to put that out there. If someone felt like they wanted to bless me in some way, that would really be a help right now. Um, financially, we're doing okay. There are a lot of bills that come with cancer. Even if you have, you know, great insurance, there's still a lot of bills and they're definitely coming. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just a lot um, to see happening all at once. So, so yeah, um, I really appreciate everybody that has been sending all these lovely messages. I I'm just blessed. I feel really blessed by the whole YouTube community, my Instagram friends and family, my Facebook friends and family, and then obviously my real life friends and family that I see all the time. Everyone has really been helpful, been reaching out and trying to comfort me when I'm not feeling so great. So yeah, I think that's all for now. That's the update. Um, you know, I'll be back for the next steps, which will be having my port put in and having that first chemo treatment. So hopefully you guys will stick around for that. Um, I have a couple other videos that I'm going to try to make this month. Um, you guys will hopefully see those. I'm doing a fermented February video and hopefully a couple of little things coming, coming your way uh, before all this cancer treatment starts. So yeah, hopefully you guys will stick around and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.